In this video, we are forecasting severe weather in the south. The Storm Prediction Center has put out a slight risk of severe weather with a 5% chance of tornadoes. Also, we have snow in the north where some could see over a foot of accumulation. And then the weather pattern goes nuts as we head into next week with several concerning scenarios. Welcome back, y'all. Ryan Hall here with the weather forecast. And if for whatever reason you don't follow me on Instagram, you probably didn't know that this bad boy came in. This is the award YouTube sends you when you hit 100,000 subscribers. It's very cool looking and it's kind of heavy. I'm going to put it right there to constantly remind us just how many weather weenies there are on YouTube. No, but for real, thank you guys for that. It means a lot to get your subscription. You have to put a lot of faith in somebody to subscribe to them and watch their weather content because weather affects all of us, our daily lives and everything. So uh, I take this seriously and I'm doing my best. I'm trying to get better every day. So uh, stick with me and we're just going to keep talking about the weather till the cows come home. All right, let's take a big old look at the United States of America. And as you can see, it's actually pretty active. There's a lot of stuff going on. First of all, the beginning stages of our snowstorm is uh, taking place here in Wisconsin all the way through Michigan, and it is going to intensify, okay? There's a lot of you guys that are going to get some decent plowable snow out of this. We'll go over that here in a second. But if we scoot down to the south here, it's been a while since we've seen this. we got a big pickle with a banana inside of it. That is a slight risk of severe weather there for uh, Little Rock, Memphis, all the way up through Nashville and Bowling Green, and we are expecting some severe weather later tonight uh, with this big storm that's moving through the U.S. that we've been talking about for days. And of course, we can go over that with more detail on the weather models. All right, of course, we're starting off here with the NAM 3 kilometer model. This is what the radar could look like as we go into the future. And if you want to keep up with the date and time, it's listed above my head there in Eastern time. Here we are at 11 a.m. around the time this video goes up. Snow in Wisconsin, Minnesota, moving into the upper peninsula of Michigan and even into northern parts of uh, downstate Michigan. We got some mixed precipitation there in southern portions of Wisconsin. And, you know, it's also going to be there in central portions of Michigan. But I don't think we're going to have much ice accumulation or anything like that. The main story is going to be up here with all the snow. It's going to be coming down really heavy at times, and especially right here where some of this heavy rain around Chicago is going to be moving into the cold air. Now, as this storm progresses east, there is a little bit of a warm front here that will try to keep the front portion of this storm rain, okay? So, uh, you know, a lot of people are going to start off as snow and then switch over to rain. But over here in Toronto, you guys are going to be rain the whole time. Just to your north and east in Ottawa and Montreal, you guys are going to start off with heavy snow and then quickly uh, switch over to rain after that. So watch that uh, progression happen there. And then boom, you can see, you know, the snow really uh, stays up here in northern portions or more central portions of uh, Quebec. And really the entire northeastern portion of the U.S. is going to be all rain for this storm. Now, if we keep pushing this on out, you can see once we get that northwest flow on the lakes here, there's going to be a nonstop machine of lake effect and lake enhanced snow through the Great Lakes region. So, uh, you know, a lot of the snow totals that I'm getting ready to show you, a lot of that is going to come from the lake effect, but you're also going to get a good punch of snow from this storm as it goes by. So let's look at those snow totals. And this is actually a little bit more intense than what we have been seeing, okay? Once again, the UP of Michigan, widespread six, seven, eight, nine inches of snow. And if you get under the right uh, lake effect snow band after the main portion goes through, some of you could see 10, 11, maybe 12 uh, inches of snow or more. Duluth still looks like you're gonna get about six inches of snow, but to your north and east, uh, there's some people that are gonna see over a foot. Same thing over here around St. Marie, 10, 11 inches, something like that. And even down into northeastern Wisconsin, widespread six inches of snow as possible. And then all this stuff you see over here in the northeast is really that lake effect snow after the storm has moved by. So all the snow is up north. Us down here in the southeast have to deal with rain and uh, possibly some severe weather. So let's check that out as we go forward. Later tonight into early tomorrow morning, we are going to see a widespread area of showers and thunderstorms form uh, from western portions of Ohio down through Indiana, Illinois into southeastern Missouri, and then especially there in uh, eastern portions of Oklahoma and into central Arkansas. These storms are going to be the result of a massive area of cold air pushing up against some pretty warm air and some of them are going to be very strong now here's the good thing okay this is happening at midnight all the way through the early morning hours so a lot of that daylight instability that adds to these storms is not going to be there so hopefully this is a weaker kind of system but we do have uh, the opportunity for some big storms here and I think it's going to be possible for some severe weather to take place all the way up through the Ohio River Valley uh, through Louisville possibly even up towards uh, Cincinnati and especially into uh, southeastern portions of Indiana some of these storms right here look pretty decent. But the main concern for straight line damaging wind and hail is going to be down here in Arkansas, uh, northwest uh, Mississippi, and western Tennessee, okay? And like I said, since this is happening in the overnight and early morning hours, there's not a lot of energy out there. But if for some reason one of these storms does root up and become a supercell storm and it goes way up into the atmosphere and that storm can interact with the uh, lower level jet stream, we could have some problems with tornadoes. Here's the 850 millibar wind speed. Uh, this 
This is what I call tornado juice. We do have some of it here uh, in West Tennessee and northwestern portions of Mississippi and of course into Arkansas as we go through the overnight hours into the early morning hours on Monday. We also have quite a bit of it up here to the north and east, but remember uh, these storms by the time they get into central and eastern uh, Kentucky and central Tennessee, they're going to be a lot weaker over here. So we're really not concerned about that. Uh, the main area we're concerned with is back here where those storms first initialize and they have the best chance uh, to actually become supercells. So the good thing about this happening at night is that there's less energy, but the bad thing is if there is a tornado, it's going to be in the dark. Nocturnal tornadoes suck. I call them naders in the dark, and the worst thing in the world, buddy, is a nader in the dark. You can't see them coming, okay? So don't be scared. Be prepared and be weather aware tonight. Uh, if you live down here, get you a NOAA weather radio. There's a link in my description, or you can go to Target or wherever and get one. Walgreens probably has them. Now, let's watch the rest of this progression. There's going to be some pretty strong storms work their way into Mississippi or central Mississippi and northern uh, Louisiana and eastern Texas early in the morning uh, tomorrow through the afternoon uh, period. But for the most part, this is just really dying out as we go forward. Forward. And there's going to be another little uh, insurgence of moisture that comes up Tuesday that might bring us some rain here in central Alabama and Georgia. But for the most part, really, it's over here in Arkansas and uh, Tennessee. That's kind of where I'm like, eh, you could have some problems. All right, we're zooming out and looking at the whole U.S. And we're going to do a little bit of a weekly forecast here and take a look at what's going to happen on the euro as we go into the future. Here's our big storm that we've been talking about for what feels like to me forever. That is going to zip right on out of here and maybe bring some snow to Vermont, New Hampshire and northern portions of Maine on Tuesday as it makes its final exit. Lots of cold air being pumped down into the Great Lakes region and the Northeast, and that sets the stage for what happens next, okay? Here we are, uh, 7 p.m. Tuesday. You can't really see it, but there's a disturbance that just came from the uh, Rocky Mountains that's causing some flurries here in uh, Illinois and possibly all the way up into uh, Minnesota and Wisconsin. And there's some Gulf moisture down here that wants to attach to that and come up here and cause a storm. And uh, here's what happens on the Euro. Nothing. A big old bowl of nothing on the Euro as this maybe causes some flurries for the Mid-Atlantic and then up here in the Northeast, maybe a couple more flurries. Really not a lot going on there, but if we switch over to the Euro's evil brother, the GFS, we have a full-on snowstorm here. Look at this. Starting Wednesday, December 8th, early in the morning from the Mid-Atlantic and Ohio Valley, snow showers stream in through Pennsylvania, into New Jersey, Long Island, New York, all of uh, New England. <laughs> gets hit by uh, a classic, you know, nor'easter kind of snowstorm here. And this is just blowing my mind uh, how, once again, this is not very far away, okay? This is three or four days from now. The Euro and the GFS show something completely different here. So who knows? Now let's scoot this back just a little bit and look at our current storm once again, because I am a professional weather analyst and I don't just look at the models and say, well, this might happen, this might happen. There's a little bit of weather knowledge up in this brain, I promise you that. And I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that uh, what's gonna happen with this second storm greatly depends on how much cold air is actually sent down from this first storm. So we will know tonight into tomorrow exactly what's going to happen. If there's a decent amount of cold air that gets sent down and this 540 line is actually a little bit further south than what this shows, maybe down into Tennessee, if this is maybe a 975 millibar low pressure system as it ejects off to the north and east, then I do think that this piece of energy will be suppressed further south enough to uh, gain enough energy to then actually combine with this system and cause a, a big snowstorm on the east coast. Okay, so pay attention to those temperatures as the first storm goes by. If it gets colder than what it's forecasted to get in Pennsylvania, then we might be dealing with a, a snowstorm uh, Wednesday into Thursday of next week. But for right now, it's a big who knows. And if any weatherman tells you otherwise, they're full of it. All right, let's keep it going. We got another little system coming through on uh, Thursday, December 9th. This one looks like it's going to put some more snow down in the same places that are seeing it today and to tonight. But another aspect of this is it's going to send some warmer air up into the uh, Midwest, even over here in the Central Plains and even into the Mid-Atlantic regions, okay? It's actually going to get decently warm as we go into uh, next weekend, okay? Another low pressure system comes through, possibly bringing some uh, big time snow over there to Montreal, uh, Toronto, a lot of Southeastern Ontario and into Quebec. And and then our focus shifts over here. All right, let's talk about that potential massive snowstorm next weekend. This is it in its beginning stages, possibly uh, around Saturday, December 11th at 7 a.m. Now there is another system that's gonna be coming through a little bit later in the Pacific Northwest that I will talk about more. But right now, this is definitely taking precedent because I think that this has the potential uh, to become a big storm. So let's put this into motion a little bit. And you can see uh, already, just from yesterday, this has changed a lot. Uh, first of all, it's initializing a lot further south 
and it's taking longer for it to become uh, strong, okay? Uh, don't get me wrong, at this point, at Saturday, uh, December 11th at 7 p.m., uh, this is a decently strong storm, a 998 millibar low pressure system uh, with likely some uh, strong storms down here in the southeast and some snow mixing in back here from uh, Lexington, Kentucky, all the way down through uh, western Tennessee. Then very quickly, that turns into a monster of a snowstorm for the Appalachian region there in eastern Kentucky into portions of middle Tennessee, all the way up through Ohio. Look at all that cold air coming down behind it. It's going to get super cold all the way down in northern portions of Louisiana as this goes by. And buddy, I'm telling you, look at that. That looks mean. That is a mean storm right there um, as this ejects off to the north and east. Blizzard-like conditions in West Virginia and Pennsylvania, all the way up through upstate New York. And of course, the coastal cities are all rain. <laughs> you get two feet of snow in uh, central Pennsylvania, but you get all rain in Pittsburgh and New York City and all those places. So I know you guys don't like that. But once again, we're still very far away from this storm. And this is the kind of thing that, you know, this is a very strong signal for a storm, right? Multiple models across multiple model runs have shown something close to this. So that means that, you know, uh, when we're uh, actually in the future, Sunday, December 12th, around 7 a.m., something is going to be happening. Is it going to look like this? Probably not, but it definitely could be an actual East Coast storm where New York City gets clobbered by snow. Or it could be something to where it goes up this way and Chicago gets a bunch of snow and everybody else over here gets rain. Subscribe to this channel and I will be the first to let you know uh, what's going to happen with this storm, okay? But here's the thing, man. Uh, if you get two feet of snow in Chicago, it is going to melt very quickly as the Euro shows an incredible amount of warm air moving in after that. This is going to be, uh, if this actually comes true, if this comes to fruition, this is going to be a record-breaking uh, warm streak for December for a lot of places in the U.S. Now, once again, this looks a lot different than what we saw yesterday. And the good thing is, is this is now, if this is actually what happens, this is more of a big-time snowstorm, okay? That's the headline here rather than a severe weather maker in the southeast. Yesterday, we were talking about the possibility for a tornado outbreak with this storm, uh, but the trough ejection here is just timed a little bit differently, and it's in a different location to where the severe weather threat with this particular uh, you know, scenario would be a little bit less. And that's good. I'm always rooting for snow. I, I would much rather have a, a blizzard than a tornado outbreak. However, like I said earlier, we're looking for patterns here, and this is a very strong uh, signal for a massive negatively tilted trough moving moving through the southeast uh, during this time frame. So anything can happen with this. We still have the potential for a big severe weather outbreak in the James Span area down here in the deep south. Okay, so if you live in Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, uh, you are you know that December tornadoes are not weird. Okay, they happen sometimes. Uh, and this is the kind of a situation that we have to watch very closely because something's going to happen. And if the timing of this trough comes through at the right time with enough moisture on the south side, I'm telling you, there's going to be a big severe weather outbreak down here. So let's hope that... Uh, uh, we have more of a snowstorm and less of a tornado storm, but no matter what happens, I'm going to be here talking about it. So uh, make sure you stay tuned. Okay. And just for fun, of course, let's take a look at those hypothetical snow totals. We've got a big area of over six inches of snow from Southeastern Kentucky, all the way through Southeastern Ohio, a lot of West Virginia. And then we're going to get a foot of snow up here in Pennsylvania into upstate New York through Vermont, New Hampshire, and Northern Maine. Look at it, read it and weep because this is more than likely not what's going to happen. It's just fun to look at. And that's all the weather talk I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you slap that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and turn notifications on. Also, hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, all this stuff. I'm creating massive amounts of weather content out there. You don't want to miss it. So I'll see you over there. Goodbye, guys. Woo!